Hello, Shadow Cat back with more Endless Space 2. And I think we are actually at the end now. Like, I, I don't know that this can go on much longer. For starters, we have this mission up here. The, the part two, collaboration thingy. Collaboration or cataclysm. So the entire thing here is for us to, with hero-led fleets, capture certain sites. And I know that several of them have been destroyed. However, I captured one up here. And no one has managed to take it yet. However, um, that's mostly just because we have a fleet up here that's actually stalemating it. This is, my, yeah, this is my fleet. And we're holding it, okay? We, we've got this one. However, um, while I've been holding this one, my teammates have gone out and got three more. One more, and I think we win. I think. I'm not positive on that. The other thing is that I have this one petulant little ship harassing my, my home system over here and killing my science. And that is just not going to do, because science is all we've got. It's our bread, it's our butter, and I'm coming to get them. We have built a brand new carrier, and we are sending it in. This thing has the most advanced weapons we have been able to craft. And by advanced, I mean they're green. Which I assume is good. So as soon as that gets here, I'm sure that he's going to skedaddle. We're probably never going to get to see the green lasers in action. But either way. So a couple of years there. Now, the main event is here. We are currently rocking over 10k. 10.5k, actually, science per turn. Everything that we need to start work on the four final technologies is just five techs away. As a matter of fact... Science lost in the last election, and the other thing that we lost is this outer ring right here, and we don't even need it now. We've got all the research that we need from there. So, even though science lost, um, we're still good. And when I look at it, um, we've got brains over bucks, which is fine, jingoist joy. I don't think there's anything else that we can get that's going to, um... Well, we could do this. The Cram Exam Act. That's more science. However, minus two approval per person on systems. My systems are pretty happy. I mean, for the most part. Yeah. I The worst one is the Janus system. And even they're okay. I mean, they could be better. But they're okay. Is there anything else I can give them to make them happy? Uh, that's influence, influence, influence. AI labor, that would make me happy. Actually, um, plus five industry on hot and sterile. These are both hot and sterile. This would be great. Let's do that. That's more industry? And we could turn that industry even further into science. So that's like plus 20 right there. Every little bit helps. So this is like when you uh, when you sign up for one of those programs and you install a program on your computer that lets you fold proteins overnight while you're sleeping. Same thing here. Every little bit helps. But let's get things moving. Because the end is coming. I just don't know when it is.
Will it be soon? Will it be now? Oh, no, wait. Successful expedition on Takim 3. We found meta enactogen. Okay. Sounds good to me. Zero has leveled up. Uh, what does Zero want? Can we get more science? Because more science would be good. What's this? Geniocrat. Uh, plus 60% system. Or science on a system. Yeah, we won't get that. That's some good stuff. And you're on the Sathra system, right? No, you're in Hadar? Why did I put you in Hadar? Eh, either way. This system is now producing 1.7k science on its own. So, yeah, deal with that. <laughs> it is in the spirit of mutual no, 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 we cannot afford that. We're still losing influence every turn. We can't afford another science agreement. Takim has more Sophons, which is great. More importantly, no one is starving. Takim also learned, or did study geology. Great. And now they're working on tourism, so more dust. Our fleets will move. They will be home in one year. Then we deal with that ship and see where our science goes from there. At last look, it was 10.5k. What can we make it now? Speak of the devil. So we got more research done. This gives us shaft to shelf systems. Uh, plus 100 industry per system level, plus 10 industry per strategic deposits. But this can only be built once per empire. And then the dust anti-trafficking centum that can also be built only once per empire. Um... More dust per person on planets and 100% star system trade value. What does that mean? It is in this No! Stop it! Alright. Well, I don't know what those two improvements are going to do for me, and I don't know where I'd put them anyway. But let's go ahead and end this. Hello! You have this little fleet here that has a power of 118. I have a ship here. One ship. With a power of 18,000. I suggest you run. We're going to go ahead and go into the advanced. We are going to take trophies on this one and see what happens. Yeah, he fled. <laughs> oh, no, he did not. No, he did not. He tried to flee. He did not make it. Ooh, bad for him. Okay, well, that was fun. What? What, 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 do you, what do you mean we've bitten off more than we can chew? Okay, never mind. Ignore you. All right. So the Pictor system is now free. And I think this means that we're going to be regaining our strength. More importantly, though, this means that we can add their 1.3k science to the rest of our, our system. Which brings us up to 14.6k. We will finish the rest of our science in 18 years. And we're still building. Okay, we are still building. Not to mention, um, shaft to shelf. So it's a hundred industry per system level. This is a level three system. Can it get better? Is there like a level four? Oh, there actually is a level four. How do we make a level four? So level four is going to require 
certain components. What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of spuds. <clears throat> we have a lot of this Amien Amienthoid. Uh, let's see. Times two damage done to attacker during ground battle. Oh, wait. We have a lot of deciduous trees. Yeah, throw those in there. And what is this? Hydra meal. Plus four food per person. Actually, yeah. That'd be good. So we need 125 of each of these plus 60 of this one. We could actually do this a few times. Okay. There's level 4 modernization. What else does that do for us? Uh, this allows you to level up your star system using a combination of luxury resources. It doesn't actually say. Like, level 2 got us a spaceport. Level 3 got us an extra slot on that spaceport. What does 4 do? I don't know, but we're going to find out. First things first, level 4 modernization. Secondly, because we do have 1, 2, 3 strategic deposits here. Shaft to shelf can go here. We will have level 4 modernization within three years. Shaft to shelf will take, um, longer. But that's okay. The only other place I could think to put this would be Sathras. And I'm not sure that that would be the best place to put it. Because they have the next most, um, industry. However... They have luxury resources, not not strategic resources. Yeah. Okay, things are actually fine the way they are. Interestingly enough, they still have food production. You guys should have this super biofuel factory. You can build this in five years, because you've got 1.1k industry. All the planets here are full, so get the super biofuel refa uh, factory. That'll turn all of your food into industry, and then all the industry into science. More science! That's all we care about. It's the waiting that gets me. Alright, what's going on? Austin has leveled up. You don't have too many more things to level up. We got you that one last time. You've already got this one. What's this? On Senate or on System. That's not helpful. What about this one? On System. On System. On System. On System. Is there anything left that is on Fleet? On Fleet. Here we go. That's a good one. Post-relativistic targeting. So there is more damage on the fleet. As if they needed it. Well, I mean, they actually do need it. It is in the spirit no. of mutual... So what does that put your damage up to now? 33k. You know, no big deal. There's a... There, there's a Kraber fleet over here. It's got 60, uh, 6,400. There's an enemy fleet here from the humans. They've got 220, or 244. Yeah. Bad day for everyone involved if they come against this ship. Or this fleet, rather. Okay, Nis has finished colonizing that big gas giant planet. That's going to make them less happy, but it's okay. So it is hot. It has a gutted pirate stronghold, which gives more industry and more dust. Things that this planet is already good at. So here's what I want to do. I want to put a geo-industrial plant on that planet. Think Cloud City from Star Wars. Because, like, there's there's no ground. Um, Sofons. Not going to be happy there. So here's what we're going to do. 
I'm going to put the Sheridan over there. And Sheridan here. And keep the Sawfons back here. And that should keep everybody happy. Ish. I mean... Happy enough, I suppose. So that was the only thing there, and we got that fixed. Um, free battle tactics modification available? Okay. Um, I'm kind of happy with my tactics. Not that I've had to really use them. We have not spent a lot of time at war. Despite the fact that we're basically constantly at war. But I mean, after our allies took the humans' homeworld... And I kind of scattered them to the wind. There's really nothing stopping anyone from just wiping the humans out at this point. Although, they are sapping the defenses here. Eh, they can handle it. Alright, the Janus system has AI labor now. Excellent! You're producing 408 science now. Good job. What else could we do? Um, not much, actually. It is in the spirit of No. And Nis has the geo-industrial plants already. Wow, that was fast. So now you're up to 459 science. Good job. Latest political survey. Science is in the lead. Again. I guess we'll see what happens on, on election day. How we doing? Still sitting about 14k. 17 years until completion. Well, let's get started on that. It's a waiting game now. I want to see what happens once we get um, a level 4 civilization over here. Populations are growing. The Janus system is now... Full. Full of Hiroshim. It is in the spirit of No, get this out of here. Full of pilgrims. Um I've got soft ones over here, but they're not terribly happy. They want to be on a cold planet where they can do more science. And I'm inclined to let them. The only question is where do we send them? Uh, Takim? Takim could use some soft ones. Alright, so you go there. You go there. And you're going to the Takim system. You're gonna love it. It's a frozen wasteland all the time. And I think that's good for us. Alright, so we'll leave things there like that. Pictor has the level 4 modernization. Yes! And it's added another slot. I mean, I guess that's good. But it's is, is it really all that helpful? Uh, with one almost 1k industry, it's going to take us 12 years to get shaft-to-shelf systems. But... The industry we get from this is going to make up for it. Yeah, it's going to be really good. What is this? Dark Matter Institute? Plus 50 science per system level. That'd be 200. And plus 10 per anomaly. We only have one anomaly here. Still, though, I mean, it is more science. However, it requires 50 antimatter. We have 17. Not even close. So, that ain't happening. And prices are going back up. People see the end coming. Why is there a weird symbol over here? Oh, wait. This is the home system for the, the Cravers, isn't it? I bet it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Because there's another symbol over here. This is the homeworld for Horatio. It is in the spirit. No. 
Funny how the Cravers still have a system, or still have their home system, but the humans don't. Funny that the Cravers still have a home system at all. Don't they eat, like, planets? I thought they were like locusts. They move in, they consume everything, and they move on. Okay, new science. Exavolt beam focus. This gives us the distributed energy uh, system improvement. It is 10% to everything. There is no reason why we should not do that. It is in the spirit of... No. He's very persistent. But we are actually positive on influence now. If we can get positive enough, eh, maybe we say yes to him one day. Sathras has super biofuel factory. Which puts them up to 1.2k science per turn. However, we just got new research. Let's see if we can do it. What we want is... Where is it? Gar guardian? No, not guardian tree. Um, Ministry of Truth? No, I don't want that. Where was it? Microwave pipes? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Actually, microwave pipes and the distributed energy are kind of the same thing. So, we're going to do both of these on all the planets. Which, this should be easy. There's literally no reason not to have it either. Except that the microwave pipes takes antimatter. Okay, what about this one? This one takes... Um, adamantine and quadrinix, if I'm remembering this stuff right. Which we have an abundance of. So, we'll do that. Let's see how many planets we can get this installed on. This is going to kill our science temporarily. But then it should jump back up. Sathras will have this in 11 years. It's all about the long-term gains. Takim does not even have a level 3 modernization? Huh. Well, we should fix that. Yeah, be become, become a, a better society. Level 4 modernization. Okay, so we're, we're good here. We're going to go ahead and do the distributed energy there. We'll add distributed energy here. This planet is already, like, really good. This planet is, or system is full, so they would really benefit from the super bio stuff. Well, okay, they wouldn't benefit that much, but regardless, it'd be good. So we're going to give them that, let them work on it. The NISC system... Distributed energy. So I'm taking just everybody off of Planet Cracker right now. You guys are busy. So are you. Well, I still have to add it. Yeah, you guys are going to be busy for the next two centuries. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, let's see. Distributed energy. Oh, right. We're back to Pictor. Okay. That's everybody. That just killed our science. Actually, it didn't kill our science as much as I thought it did. We're still doing great. Next year. And there's lots of ships that are headed this way, I think. Well, no. There's a few ships headed this way. But nobody's going to dare try and take this system from us. It is well guarded. Any attempt would be just folly. Okay, Incandescence has Graviton-shielded labs now. Check you out. I'm throwing the Super Bio thing on here. Ooh, actually, um... <laughs> it's gonna take a while. That's like a century to learn distributed energy. Wow. Well, I'll be working on it for a while. Don't forget to do your homework. Also, uh, I did put a new policy in place, didn't I? Ooh, no, I did not. Um, here's what I want to do. 
Cram Exam Act. We're going to pass it. I want to see what happens. Because our systems are still pretty happy. Yeah, a lot of them have gone down in happiness, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, we'll slap the, the new law in for a couple of years. See how it pans out. Oh, and speaking of, it's election time. Um, who would be good this time? Maybe the industrialists? More industry. We're not at war. We don't really need... Then again, we keep our support with the militarists. They're not going to win. So we're going to lose the, um, the, the forced law. I believe that gives us happiness while we're at war. I think we're at war, though. I'm throwing my support behind the industrialists. Let's see how it turns out. Looks like science is going to win the day. All right. How do we do? Science has won. Militarists are still in there. However, industrialists have taken the third chair. Excellent! Fox is back in the Senate. We also unlock the Fleet Fortitude Decree. Nice, that's more health than ships. Cool. So that's going to change our, our laws up. Right, Force Law redacted, and the Oracle of Science has been activated again. I like the Oracle of Science. However, what did that? How does our our happiness look now? Oh, it's bad. It's real bad. Ooh, actually, you know what? Um, we're going to abolish this law. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to get rid of that. Look, I'm sorry about that. That was during, done during the last administration. We're, we're, we're not responsible for, for that law. <laughs> Incandescent lost people. No, everything was going so good. Don't let it fall apart now. Takim has level 3 modernization. Bria has colonial rights. Which makes you really happy. Now you're working in a museum. Celebration and publication present a uh, hostility decree. Yeah, this gave us um, 15 happiness per war with a major faction and 5 per war with a minor faction. But we're not at war, are we? Oh, yeah, we are. We are at war. Of course we're at war. Wait, did that count as three separate wars? Was that like a plus 45 mood? Oh, no. I did not realize that. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh, I may have, uh... I may have misjudged. I, I may have misjudged heavily. Oops. Well, by abolishing the law, I don't think anybody's mutinous anymore. Let's take a look. Uh, the Janus system is unhappy, which is leading to a decline in their population. Attack him. No, we like can't afford century. another one. Okay, so attack him is starving. Ooh, that is... That, that's not good. Okay, on the Takim system, is there anything else that we can do? I mean, far-sighted crops I don't think is going to save us on this one. Not to mention we don't have the antimatter. Um, here's what I think I'm going to have to do. Let's get aquaculture domes over here and see how well, or how this stabilizes things. Okay? So we should have this in roughly three years. 
Of course, that's three years where we're going to be losing population, but we're, we're trying. Okay? We're trying. Who else is losing population and food besides a lot of people? Um, incandescence. We have these spin projects. Food is more important right now than influence. So, much like the, uh, the Bria system, you'll have this in three years. And the Janus system is always starving. You already have aquaculture domes. I don't know what else to do with you. I, I, I just don't know. So, just keep working on the distributed energy. That's a 10% bonus to everything, including food. Oh boy. I didn't think that one election was going to screw everything up. Pictor has microwave pipes, though, so that's good. 12 more years to get um, distributed energy. Okay, very good. Let's, uh, let's let time go. Oh, it's gonna be bad. And you guys are sending a fleet over here? Okay, Takim is losing softons. Imminent victory. Yeah, whatever. What does it even mean? You've warned me that, that several people are close to an economic victory as it is. But what does that mean? We're in leveled up. Is there anything else I want to give you? So that's on fleet. On fleet. On system. And on fleet. Okay, well, we can get more dust on systems. Let's see. On fleet. On fleet. On fleet. On fleet. This is on fleet. On senate. Interesting. So we could have more people on system. More approval on system. Well, you already make people, like, maddeningly happy, so don't actually need that. This is on fleet. Right. Let's go ahead and get the dust one. There we go. So, that's good. It is in the spirit of... The answer is no. It's always been no. It's always gonna be no. Prices are going up. Still, inflation is awful. Am I right? Oh, how's our science doing? Uh, we're back down to 11k. However, 12 more years until we finish up all of our research. And here we go. Just completed power armor. Protective and operational wild environment ready ar readiness armor. Is essentially the toughest, strongest, most dexterous and comfortable mech suit that science can design. Radiation, pressure, winds, temperatures. Allows workers to toil in all the most extreme environments. This gives us an empire improvement. Plus two population on huge gas, plus one on regular and large gas. More people. Ooh, that's more miles to feed, actually. And a mech suit quarter. Plus two resource generation on strategic resources, plus one on luxury. I know where we need this. It is in the spirit. No. We need that over here. Desperately. Where is it? So, we want mech suits. Here we go. It's expensive. It's going to take us almost 30 years to build. However, if we can, this will get us a lot more antimatter, which we desperately need. So, we're going to work on that. Lodestone system destroyed on Varak. 
Okay, that's not great. Uh, Takim is losing Sophons. Yeah, it's because they're losing food. We already did finish one aquaculture dome. We're working another one. Doing what we can. We're making those domes. And I just noticed. That's it, five of five. But they also just destroyed one. Who's going to win this? What happens next year? Is that... Is that it? Is it next year? Did nothing happen? What happens now? It is in the spirit of Horatio, the... stop talking! <gasps> wait, 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 wait! Blockaded routes. One of our trade routes is being blockaded. So, Pictor and Kura. Where is our blockade? It's not on Pictor. Wait, is it up here? No. What? Where? I don't see blockades. None of my, my planets, planetary systems are being blockaded. Not even this one up here, which has enemy fleets around it. I mean, that's wise. Nobody should be blockading me, because I will absolutely come and annihilate you. Alright, Takim has aquaculture domes. Does that help? It does not. The food here is the best it's going to get. There's nothing else I can do. Except for farsighted crops. And I mean... I would need to get... Okay, you are going to be making me the antimatter. If I have to buy antimatter to spend antimatter, I will. So I need to get ten more antimatter. Let's go to the market. Antimatter, antimatter, here we go. Uh, price is going up. This is awful. I spent so much dust. 6k dust for ten antimatter. I better be buying a lot of antimatter like this. This better not be like one atom of antimatter each. Ah, it's painful. Okay. Farsighted crops. It's going to take 15 years to develop it. And there's no way we can buy it out. Way too expensive. We're going to do what we can, though. The Yetic system is under siege. Humans are going to lose another one. Oh, no, it is well past under siege. It has been sieged. Wait, all the galaxy has been explored? Oh. I didn't do it. Someone else did it. That's interesting, though. It is in the spirit no, go away. 100%. I thought there'd be more, like, out here. But I guess not. Well, I mean, there you go. As a science-appreciating person, I can appreciate this. Okay, that being said, however, um, we let time go. How are we doing on the science front? Nine more years until we finish the last of our research. And then we start on these. I can probably even start queuing them up now. Academy powers up. That's good. And Austin, you leveled up. So we're going to get you this one again. Post relativistic targeting level 2. That is 40% more damage on fleet. Is it Horatio it is again? Spirit of... No! 
that puts you up to 36k power. I just... It is ridiculously strong. And those aren't even the upgraded ships. Can you imagine if we were to upgrade all of those ships? Okay, um... But science... We're still sitting at about 11.6k, nine years until we have everything done. But we're also not going really hard right now because we're still working on the distributed energy. So currently nobody is using planet crackers. Uh, let's see, the Janus system, they are unhappy. It's fine. We're in, however, you're on Sathras. They're good. Can I get you to come over here to the Janus system? We need your, your expertise there, because Sathras is going to sit at 68% content. They're fine. Can I give them anything else to make them happy? Colonial rights. Do you guys want some rights? I can give you some rights. Two years. All you gotta do is build the building to house the rights. Okay? And then you're fine. You'll be happy. Okay, I just took care of you. You're good. We move on. We'll have advanced non-baryonics in two years. I forget what that gives us. What does it give us? Um... Offensive laboratories. More science per empires at war. And we're at war with three empires. It is in the spirit of so, yeah, that's that's like plus 60. No, yeah, plus 60% science. I never thought I'd be so happy to be at war. Should have thrown my, my, uh, my lot behind the militarists. Oh well, you live and learn. What else can we expect soon? These distributed energy things are going to take a really long time. However, the, um... Janus system is now ecstatic. Which is great. Because Weirin is down there. That means it's going to take them... 12 years to get the distributed energy in there. Ooh, we can get colonial rights. Two years. That ought to make you happy. Who doesn't love rights? And we'll get back to work on the distributed energy. So, Weirin, I'm really counting on you to get this system taken care of. They're under your care. Okay, we are slowly accumulating antimatter again. It's very slow, though. Uh, Tachyum has lost more Sophons. It's okay. We're gonna be fine. Um... Through your actions, this universe begins to feel like a sanctuary, not a prison. Yeah, I... A I can't afford that right now. It is in the No! Spirit. Can't just click a button that says no to all? Zero has, uh, has leveled up, though. So, what can you do? Um... You are on both a planet and you're on the Senate. So, let's come down here. Um, ooh! Farming logistics! Wait, can, can you not get that? Wait, hold on. Close. Available skill points. I don't... I don't want to? What, what, did I, what did I put a point into? I want my point back. Oh no, here we go. There we go. I had, I had actually clicked on that. Um, more food. More food is good. So this will be plus 10 on a fertile system, plus 10 on the system in general. And then if we upgrade that again, that's even more food. That would actually be really good. Because I could put you in charge on one of these planets that's starving. So you are right now assigned on Sathras, I think. But I may move you. 
So, like, Tachyum right now desperately needs somebody like you. Actually, you're on Hadar? Ooh, actually... No, I better leave you there. Hadar is currently at z Well, yeah, they're currently at zero food. And they're working on the... Well, no, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Hadar system is full. They're at zero food because they're turning their excess food into industry. So we could move you. We could move you. Yeah, I'm sending you to attack him. Help them with food. Okay. And by sending you to attack him, they now have a positive food. And Hadar is going to be fine. Their science went down pretty significantly. But they're going to be fine. This is going to work. Okay, so we lost off on Zontakim. That will not happen again. Janus has more Harishims, so that's good. Sathras has colonial rights. That makes them pretty happy. Good. They'll have the distributed energy in three years. And prices are going... Prices are going down now that I bought my antimatter. Of course they are. Alright, so we got advanced non baryonics. That gives us these offensive laboratories, which are great! Next, we're looking at super light aerodynamics. This will give us better movement in general. Blockaded routes. Sathras uh, to Hadar has lost a lot. It is in the spirit Stop of this. Me. Ground battle at Tachim? Are you seriously invading us? Okay. Well, we're not going to surrender, that's for damn sure. Um, so if we, if we draft people, adds more people, but we lose one population. If we protect the system, plus 30% defending troops' health, minus 25 population death, minus 20... We're going to go with protect system. And we're also going to get ships over here. That is um that is not good. That that is not a that is not a minor defeat. That is a major defeat. That that is a that is a very major defeat. Okay then. It's gonna take us five years to get our ships over there. You guys are going to have to hold the line here. It'll take us eight years to get our ships there. The fleet that's orbiting? Strong. Very strong, actually. You are not going to be able to take them on your own. Okay, then. I guess we're doing this. So, how many more ships can we build? Can we build another one of these? We can build another one of these. That'll take us eight years to build. So by the time our, our primary fleet gets over here, they should be fine. As for our science, it's time that we start queuing these up. One, two. 
That's going to take us 42 years to do. We cannot select these until we get the last uh, research done here. But we're in the home stretch. The Jana system just got colonial rights. Oh, no, wait. They're invading the Tacum system. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is not good. They may take our system, but they're not going to hold it. They can't hold it. But apparently, the humans want war. So we're going to give them war. Ground battle attack him again. There's not a whole lot that I can really do about this. Even if I draft people. I think they're going to take it this time. Yeah, we're going to lose our system. Temporarily. Ah, we're still holding on. We have one tank left. And the uh, Cravers have declared war on us. It is of course the they have. Of yeah, major defeat. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. Watch this. Not you, not you. Doria! Are you back as friend or foe? Speak fast. I'm actually here as a friend. Because I like you. You and I can be friends, right? So, truce? Yeah. Really? You don't want a truce? What if I give you some sweet science to go with it? Who doesn't love science? Mm -hmm. How about this? Hmm? Pretty good, right? This war hasn't been good for business. The families are happy to sign a truce. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? That means humans can be TFO. I just made a deal with your ally. Sucks, doesn't it? Get the hell out of my space. I'm still going to keep building that ship, though. <laughs> oh, it sucks to have friends in the wrong places, doesn't it, humans? Trust me, I get how that works. I'm not the one that started this war to begin with. But you're not going to benefit from it. And the next time you try this, oh, I will be so ready. Like, I've got the Cravers up here, who, despite the fact that we're at war, are guarding this system. I don't have to worry about it. Which means I'm going to bring my fleet down here to Sathras. And it's going to sit here. And the next time you pull this... I can't... I can't destroy your home world. But I'm going to, like, find one of your puppies and kick it. Okay? However, that does mean that we just lost a lot of bonuses from war. So, this, um... the These laboratories I was looking at? Yeah, the offensive laboratories. Kind of a waste now. I mean, not entirely a waste, but... Oh, they will only take six years to build. Cool. Alright, well... We just ended a war. We ended a war with a phone call. That That's funny. I don't care who you are, that's funny. 
Alright, Primus has distributed energy now. That puts them up to 1.1k. Good job, guys. And they are ecstatic. They are full. They're producing lots of food, lots of industry, and thus lots of science. This is a good system. I can see why the humans would be pissed that I took it from them. Oh well. They're always pissed. We're going to continue to move ships. I'm going to move you over to Sathras, actually. We need to start building a secondary fleet. I guess the humans are tired of having their tail kicked, so they're fighting back. Which is weird, because humans don't have tails. Pictor has distributed energy, and now they're going to work on offensive laboratories regardless. What's this doing for our science? Sitting at 11.9k. In three years, we will have finished up the last of our basic technologies, and we will start working on these endless technologies. And are you really blockading this system? Because if you're blockading the system, it's not going to end well for you. Uh, let's see. Cannot be done in a hangar. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you are actually blockading the system. You guys are awful. Uh, speaking of my other fleet, uh, command points, command points. It is currently sitting at, where's the command points? 13 ships. Oh, no, wait, it's right here. Hold on. Yeah, it's sitting at 31, or 30 out of 31 command points. I think that's the biggest a fleet can get. I could be wrong. However, we have growing populations again, thankfully. Populations coming back on Takim. Um, I'm going to take some people out of here and put them over here. They'll have farsighted crops in two years. That should solve the food problem over here. And in one more year, we'll have super light aerodynamics, which will let our fleets move even faster. Prices are still going up. Even for the likes of you, and life has an offer. Now you want a truce? I just built offensive laboratories. Okay, well... Science is good for business. And peace is good for science. Okay, there we go. Had a bit of a glitch. But we're good now. So, truth with them is good. We'll have another carrier in three years. Let's roll time and see how things go. 
how long is that truce going to last, actually? Because I have to expect that the humans are going to counterattack as soon as they can. We got super light aerodynamics. That gives all of our ships plus two movement points. Now, we start on the big project. Might of the Endless. This will give us three more command points. Plus 20% troop health. Yes, this is going to be great. Through your actions, this universe begins to feel like a sacrifice. I cannot afford another one right now. Uh, we got more people on, on Takim. Good. Pictor has offensive laboratories just in time for us to be at peace. And Takim also has far-sighted crops. Which is good. That means that we can probably move Zero somewhere else. But we're gonna... I'm gonna keep Zero here. Well... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna keep Zero here. Because now that I think about it... I don't really need to send Zero anywhere else. We're good. Um... The only other place I could think to send somebody would be over to, like, Hadar. Hadar is unhappy. What if they? What if we gave them some colonial rights and some luxuries? Would this make you happy? Okay, four years. Can you can you hold out for four years? Would this make you happy? All right. And now that we got that done. We can also queue up. Ooh, hold on. So that's genius of the endless and power of the endless. Okay, here's here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. Genius of the Endless is plus 10% science on systems and minus 20% technology cost. We want this one first. Because that will help us get the other ones. Then we want Power of the Endless. Because Power of the Endless will give us more approval... And more approval will mean more resources. Which will again help us get the other two faster. There is a method to this madness. And these two ships are still over here. Don't worry, we're going to take care of them. So they'll be there in one year. And with a 36,000 power fleet, we're going to be doing pretty good. We won't be able to fight them, but we'll be ready for them. Uh, are we coming up with another election? Okay, that's, that's fine and all. Let's roll time. All right, nothing new this turn. However, we've got our fleet parked over here. This ought to give them pause. And we're going to start building another one over here. This universe begins to feel like a sanctuary, not a prison. We you know have what? a proposal. Can I... Can I see this? Let's see. Um... We've got a positive inflow of about 900. No, actually, with Senator Skills, it's it's easily over 1k. But we're losing 844 from a science agreement already and a trade agreement. No, we can't take on another one. You keep proposing them, I gotta tell you no, because we just can't do it. I wonder what this is doing. Because this is doing nothing. It's it's sitting at 505. This should be done, right? 
So with hero led fleets only, clear out collaborator fleets. It is in the spirit of the I'm reading self. Clear out collaborator fleets from around the identified lodestones, orbit a majority of the lodestones until the right is complete. Right? So clear out competitors? So do I need to send a fleet back up here and get rid of them? Is that what's stopping this? Ugh, we just came from there. How powerful is this fleet? Only a hundred... Wait, no. 39. 39,000. That is... Rough. It's actually stronger than our fleet. Alright. Let's go back. We'll clear them out. It's a six-year journey now. Which, I mean, is getting better. Over here, in the hangar... We can float that ship. Go ahead, put them together. Those two alone are 36k. Wow. Okay. Um, actually, bring these ships in here. Let's see if we can get some upgrades. We may need to refit. Yeah, sather has got the Collider. They will have distributed energy in one more year, and then they get back to work on science. And our science is currently sitting at... What? what? Only 8,400? How are we going down? Is it because you're blockading this system? You guys are so looking to get punched. Uh, the truce will end in three years. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're not going to deal with that other system up there, because in three years, <clears throat> we're going to be dealing with this. Can we make any more ships? We can. It takes us five antimatter to make each one of these, uh, these collider-class ships. So we're going to do that, and we'll start working on another one. How are we doing over here? The mech suit quarter. Yeah, not great. Um, alright. We're just going to have to roll with it. It's all we can do. <laughs> Bria is losing Sophons? Why? They're losing food. I mean, that's a good reason. If people are starving, yeah, that that explains it. It is in the spirit of and imminent victory again. A economy, whatever. You keep saying that. You're you're the boy who cried wolf. Um, Bria, there's nothing I can really do for you unless I move somebody over here. So, Fox is on Tachim. I think Fox needs to be on Tachim. Um, Weirin's on the Jenna system. I don't think that the Jenna system is going to live without. There's nothing I can do right now. There, There's just nothing I can do right now. You people are going to have to, um... Well, actually, hold on. One more year, and the Janus system will have the distributed energy. Then maybe we can move Weirin. Okay? That's what we're going to do. And Sathras just finished directed energy. Which means that we will have another carrier in seven years. Now, importantly, let's see if we can do some refits. Uh, retrofit. We cannot afford it. It would take too many resources. Can I refit individual ships? No. No, no, no. Huh. You've got open slots on you? What are you? The Accelerator. We haven't looked at the smaller ships in a long time. 
yeah. Okay, okay. Well, we can definitely do something with this. Okay, so right now, you have those. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Okay? I'm going to give you... some lasers and a beam there. Okay, that's lots of quadrinics, but we're, it, it, it's okay. We have these um, advanced inert platings. These use um, this is adamantine. And we got these pirate shields. So put those there. I'll give you more shields. Support modules. You've already got a movement module. However, we can give you a Hyperium engine. And uh, we can even give you additional crew capacity. And so that's a good looking ship. So there is the Accelerator 4. Now, can we retrofit you? I don't think so. Can I not retrofit individual ships? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I gotta do this differently. What if I say all of the Accelerators make a different fleet? Okay. Come over here. I pick up these guys. Yeah. And then we retrofit them. There we go. So now they're all accelerator fours. Oh, and I missed one. Okay, hold on. One more time. Retrofit. There we go. Now we take this uh, this one, and then these, merge them together again, and we have a new fleet with a power of 39.5k. What else can we do? Okay, so... What about the magnet ship? This also has been upgraded, but it hasn't been retrofitted. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to strip it. Naked ship. And now we're going to rebuild it. It has only two weapon slots. So we're going to put green beams on it. I love the green beams. It has several armor slots. We're going to go ahead and give it armor there, pirate shield there, and maybe another pirate shield down here. Well, no, maybe more armor. There we go. Support modules, it has many. So we're going to give it one Hyperium engine. We're going to give it uh, let's see, what is this? Titanium shrapnel? Increase flotilla crew destruction. Huh. Oh, debris analyzer. Uh, what I think we're going to do... Let's see, adamantine enhancer. This enhances projectile damage. No. Adamantine jammer. Less a chance to be targeted. That'd be better on the capital ships. Now, we're going to add a recruiting bay. And then... I don't know what else to put on here. I guess a debris analyzer, and we'll add some nano repair bots. And that should be everything, right? Pretty good looking ship. Okay. So we'll do that. And then we'll come down... Oh no, we'll grab this one. The magnet ship? No, 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 I don't want to create, actually. I don't want to create. I want to... 
I gotta come over here to separate it. So, Magnet, make it its own fleet. Then we retrofit. Then we come back here. We grab this and this and merge them. And that puts us over 40k. Is that not a terrifying fleet? That is a terrifying fleet. Alright, so we just burnt away a whole lot of dust. Like, a lot of dust. However, we are getting ready for a big fight. Because as soon as the truce is over, the humans are going to try again. And we're going to have to take them out. We've only got a couple more years left of it, too. So let's see what happens. We're running really long on time here. I've got to get out of here. Austin has leveled up, though. What can we get you? We just got you all of that. Is there anything else on fleet that I can give you? Um... Actually, yes, we're working on Conscription Genius. It is in the spirit nope. of... Okay. We've lost Sofon's Umbria, I know. Weirin has leveled up. What can I possibly get you now? Oh, that's right, we were working on dust. More dust. Which is great, because we could really use dust right now. Hadar has luxuries. Are they happy now? No, they're still unhappy. We'll see if colonial rights makes them any happier. But probably not. This is, however, plus 5 per system level. So that'll be a plus 15. That should make them relatively happy. And that truce expires... next year. Oh, it's election time, too. I'm gonna go ahead and throw myself behind the militarists this time like I should have done in the first place. Let's see how it turns out. This is not turning out the way I expected. Militarists are in, however, but the pacifists knocked out the industrialists. Interesting. We didn't get anything new out of it. But, more importantly, it's time. The truce is over. And our alliance is close to achieving a score victory? Whatever that means. However, before we do anything else, humans! It is in the spirit of. Stop stealing my thunder! Humans need to get out. That means leave. So we're going to come into advanced. I hear a lot of things going on in the background. It's not making me happy. Okay, you need to get in here with the main fleet. So we've got our two capital ships. We've got all of our brand new smaller frigates. Um, Their ships are primarily kinetic. However, they are learning how to use energy weapons. Actually, they're learning how to use a lot of things. They've got a lot of different ships. So... We're going to go with full reserves, I think. Yeah, full reserves. You get over here. We go in together. We stay at mid-range. And, and... And we just hammer them. Let's teach them the error of their ways. They've 
got their fleet more spread out. Their tactics might be better. But I, I believe in our tech. Our technology will save us. They've already lost one of their cruisers, two, three cruisers! Four cruisers! Their entire mid-range armament is gone. We have minor damage to one carrier. However, we excel at the mid-range. They've lost two more cruisers. They're only left with their capital ships. Capital ships taking heavy damage. All bombers, move in. One capital ship down. Get clear of that explosion. Second capital ship down. However, we've also lost one carrier. and words do not bring solace to the heart. I don't you care what you have to say. I don't care what you have to say either. We lost one of our colliders. However, we traded one carrier for their entire fleet. We also gained 1,200 research. System relics at Debris Field. The debris drifting silently through the void is a reminder of the massive confrontation where Shadowcat defeated Peter, during which nine ships were destroyed. Concerning the military personnel involved in the action, turned into a giant bloodbath where 5,291 lost their lives. Get out of my space. You are now sieging my system. I will remove you. We did lose a ship. However, by simply moving this ship over here, we have replenished. I am going to put that ship back in the hangar. By adding a new, brand new Collider 4, We have increased the power of this navy to 68,000. This navy can destroy anything now. And it will. Because the war is back on. And now, it's my turn. So if you want to see where this war goes, which is going to be very, very short, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon, that way you get notified when these videos come out. We are in the end game. All we have to do now is finish our research and we win. It is currently 88 years out, but we are not yet fully dedicated to science. We're working on it, but we're not fully dedicated until all of these are in Planet Cracker. The time is coming, and when it gets here, whoa. It's going to be good. So share this video out with anyone you think might enjoy this, but otherwise, leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and I will see you as we crush humanity and end this war before it can begin. Until then, take care.